There's a chance of severe thunderstorms in central and eastern parts of Oklahoma. Good midday uh, from the Oklahoma's video studio. I'm Dave Morris. Uh, joined via Skype from Rick Smith from the National Weather Service down in Norman. He's the Warning Coordination Meteorologist at the National Weather Service there. Sir, thank you for your time today. We appreciate it. Uh, glad to be here, Dave. Well, and happy to chat with you on a day like today when uh, there are severe storm chances. And I'll throw it to you. What are we looking at today? Well, we got kind of a, a complicated setup today. It's not a, a clear cut um, uh, scenario, certainly. Uh, here at midday, we already have some thunderstorms that popped up pretty quickly right over central Oklahoma in the Oklahoma City metro area. Expect those to continue to move off toward the northeast uh, through, through the middle part of the day here. And then later this afternoon, we're expecting a dry line which is a familiar feature if you keep up with Oklahoma weather. We'll be pushing in again into central Oklahoma by two or three o'clock this afternoon. And it's, and it's possible, depending on exactly what happens here with the morning storms, it's possible we could see more storms developing along and ahead of that dry line after three o'clock sometime this afternoon. Those are the ones that we're most concerned with as far as the severe weather potential. So you're looking at two rounds of storms in here. We're located at Sheridan and Robinson in downtown Oklahoma City. And Rick, I can hear the thunder uh, just outside the windows here. So two rounds of storms, perhaps lunchtime, and then perhaps we should be weather aware again around two or three. Yeah, I think lunchtime will be a little wet and, and noisy for, for some of us here, especially on uh, east sides of the Oklahoma City Metro. We've already had some small hail reported. We don't expect these storms to be uh, to get too out of control, uh, but you know, we could see some gusty winds and some hail, certainly heavy rain and always lightning. But later this afternoon, we're going to be focusing our attention back out to the west to see what develops out west of Oklahoma City, out west of I-35, and those could be even more potent than the morning storms. Speaking of hail, the, the National Weather Service Norman Twitter account, which is at sign NWS Norman, tweeted uh, right before we started. If you have some hail updates, it's hailing in your area. Hashtag OKWX. Uh, let the National Weather Service know what's going on in your area. Rick, let's talk a little bit about tornadoes. That's not a word you mentioned, but I, I bring that up just because there has been a tornado siren change, and perhaps we should uh, remind our viewers of that uh, in the Oklahoma County and Oklahoma City area. Yeah, I think that's important to remember this, uh, you know, as we get into the season where we typically experience most of our tornadoes. The city of Oklahoma City did make some significant changes to how they operate their outdoor warning sirens. Uh, no longer will they be sounded for huge areas of, uh, of the county or over several counties like they were in the past. They're going to be more focused now. So if uh, the bottom line is if you hear a siren in the Oklahoma City area, it means that you are very close to the risk area and you need to get into a safe place and get additional information as quickly as you can. Um, you know, in the distant past or last year even, uh, the sirens would sound for storms that may be some distance away from you. That's not gonna be the case this year. They are gonna be a lot more localized. So if you hear a siren, you need to do something pretty quick. We're chatting via Skype with Rick Smith. He's down in Norman with the National Weather Service office there. Uh, Rick, perhaps on a day like today, which may be a little bit more of a routine storm day, what are some of the safety plans that people should have in mind? Well, the, the, the basic information, the basic safety plans are number one, to pay attention to the weather. We've got the best weather information system anywhere in the, in the world here with the TV stations, the weather service, all the different media outlets that are out there. So just pay attention to the weather, uh, pay attention to those watches and warnings that come out. Be sure you have a safety plan. Be sure that you know where you and your family can go to be safe. If, if a tornado warning was issued or if a storm threatened you, we want you to get in, get down, cover up, get as far inside a sturdy building as you can, get as low as you can, put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. And then today's Wednesday, for example, people have church, people have evening activities maybe they're going to, you know, have a way to keep up with the warnings even when you're not at home watching television. Get an app on your phone, get a weather radio uh, to be sure that you're getting those, those, those urgent warning messages uh, as we go through spring. We may not get them today, but we'll get them sometime before the next couple months are over. This is getting to be that time of year. I mentioned Twitter. You can follow Rick on Twitter as well, O-U-N-W-C-M and the National Weather Service Norman office, w, uh, NWS Norman. One last thing before I let you go, sir. Uh, tell me about Weather Brains. This is something you participate in or have participated in every week. What is Weather Brains and how can people uh, join in and watch that? Well, that's kind of a, uh, an unofficial thing I'm, I'm uh, fortunate enough to participate in. It's, it's a podcast devoted to everything weather. So if you're interested in weather, if you're a 
a closet meteorologist or a weather geek or <laughs> somebody that just, you have to be pretty much. But if you're interested in weather at all, Weather Brains is just a, a podcast. Uh, it airs live every Monday at 8.30 p.m., but it's also recorded. So um, you can watch it on YouTube or you can listen to it. Most people listen to it. But we have guests on there on any variety of topics from weather forecasting to uh, TV meteorology, all kinds of things. It's And it's it's a, it's a lot of fun. we got a, a panel of a lot of uh, characters on there that keep it very entertaining, very interesting. So if you're into weather, it's something I think you should probably check out. Well, there's certainly a strong weather market here in the Oklahoma City area, and that's why I bring that up. A lot of people are interested in weather's uh, weather. Uh, you can find more episodes at weatherbrains.com on that. Rick, as always, we appreciate your time. I know it's a busy day for us. Thank you for making uh, time for us today, a busy day for you, I should say. Again, you can follow Rick on Twitter, O-U-N-W-C-M, and uh, we'll have more weather updates on newsok.com from the National Weather Service throughout the day.